be easy to build. Uh, now I'm gonna go under max script and run a script and then run my script that is called book scatter and I just downloaded this one from uh, a script spot.com which is a free script so you can go there and download this one there are a couple of options that we have to adjust okay so first I'm gonna select all of my books and make sure that they are all facing the front view which they are and after that with all of those selected I have to click on fix so it's gonna fix all of their pivots that's really necessary so we'll be getting the books uh, on the right place then I'm gonna adjust uh, the vertical shelves let's set it to 3 now uh, the horizontal shelf that's gonna be eight okay now to define the distance between vertical shelves and the horizontal shelves I'm gonna create a box make sure auto grid is on and just create a box now let's go to the size parameters for the box okay this should be fine and let's adjust the height okay great now I'm gonna set the distance between vertical shelves to be um, 50 2 or 53 and for this one I'm gonna change it to let's say 65 that is this value here and also I'm gonna change the gap between the shelves which is gonna be this thickness of this glass I'm gonna uh, set it to 1.2 so I guess everything else is fine now let's go for scale I'm gonna bring down the scale from 0.7 to 0.8 since I know that I have some of the books that are uh, really tall so I don't want any of those to be penetrating the glass above those and also about the Y position I will change this one to let's start with one and now I can delete this box and select all of my books hit run great now this is the arranged books that are created uh, with that script now let's place them inside the shelf Okay, I guess everything is fine. Now let let me check the orientation of some of those. Yeah, everything should be fine. So let's bring them in. I I have to adjust some of those properties since, or rather, some of those uh, individual books, since I did not put uh, the exact values inside the script so let me bring this down and to the left okay so let's remove this one and bring this row up now I can press J so I can see the bounding box which makes it easier Okay, now I'm gonna uh, remove this part and also bring some of these up. 
All right, great. I probably need to bring him to the right. Okay, so this should be fine. Now, uh, I'll go and delete some of those books that are in the middle. And I don't really need those, so... If you want to keep this uh, a stack, you can uh, scale those down. But I guess I'm going to remove those, so... Okay, so uh, I'll pause the video and do the last row. Okay, so that's done. Um, what I noticed is that um, some of the books are, or rather all of them are, facing the wrong direction. So I'm gonna select uh, all of the books and mirror them around. Let me first fix this one. Okay, so this should be fine. Now I'm gonna select all of the books and make sure that I remove the shelf. With all of them selected, I'm going to make a group from them and click on mirror and mirror them on Y axis. So yeah, I guess this is fine. This would be it for this part of the tutorial and in the next part we'll continue with the rest of the objects.